<gasps> Look, a bird! Whoa! Wow! <laughs> this is so fun! I can't believe it! Yeah. How are we flying anyway? Oh, I don't know. Kids, you want to know how we're flying? Special effects! Whoa! Yeah! You guys get a sneak peek to behind the scenes of our Harvest Kids set. Yes. Can we turn this fan off? My eyes are watering. <laughs> well, we work together as a team, the production team, in the studio to bring you some really cool stuff for Harvest Kids Live at home and in your classrooms. Me and Mike and our video guy, hey, August. Hi. Everybody say hi to August. <laughs> yeah, he does the After Effects and the video, does a great job, and together we do the Harvest Kids videos. Okay, I gotta get behind the back behind the camera now. Okay, so. August. Woohoo! Well, just like as we work like a team to bring the gospel to you guys, the Israelites work together as a team. They united together so that they could conquer their enemy. You know, we're gonna do a lot of things in this service. What else are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna read our Bible story. Mm -hmm. We're going to play a game. Oh. We're gonna make a really yummy snack. Fun. And we're gonna do some worship. And that's gonna start right now. So okay. why don't you guys get up on your feet and let's get ready to worship God now. <laughs> Let not your hearts be troubled Believe in me Oh, oh, oh I'm going there to prepare A place for you Name is G 
Hey everyone, welcome to today's Focus Up Moment. This is where we take a moment to really focus in on one part about God and worship Him. And today we talked about Jesus being King. He's the King of all kings. And so we have a little song here called King Jesus is All. And it was an old campfire song. And that means like when people were sitting around the campfire, they would sing these types of songs. And it's a singing and repeating song. So you kids can sing with Jackie as a repeat and I'll sing the first sentences. So this is how it goes and you can get to sing it wherever you're at. Use your voices, we wanna hear you. Okay, it goes like this. King Jesus is all. King Jesus is all. My all in all. My all in all. And I know he will answer. And I know he will me when I call, me when I call, walking by my side, walking by my side, I'm satisfied, I'm satisfied. King Jesus is all, King Jesus is all, my all in all, my all in all. That was good. Now you know the words to the song, and so sing it even louder. And this is King Jesus is all. King Jesus is all. King Jesus is all. My all and all. My all in all. And I know he will answer. And I know he will answer. Me when I call. Me when I call. Walking by my side. Walking by my side. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. King Jesus is all. King Jesus is all. My all and all. My all in all. King Jesus is all. King Jesus is all. My all in all. My all in all. Ah, oh, good job singing, everybody. Jesus is King. Well, that's it for today's Focus Up. We'll see you next time. Hey everybody, welcome to our game today. It's called Zoom It Out. I'm gonna show you 10 pictures and you're gonna guess what they are as we zoom them out. So let's get our first picture up on the screen now. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I see some red. Hmm, I don't know what quite it is yet. Okay, let's zoom it out now. Oh, there's a little bit more information there. I see the end of something on a plate. I guess it looks a little yummy. Do you know what it is? Here we go, we'll give you the answer in three, two, one. It's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Did you get it right? Yes, I love those. Those are really good to eat anytime. Oh, that's all zoomed in, huh? There's a yellowish, hmm. We're gonna give you a little bit more information. Zoom it out now. Okay, I think I know what this is. Shout it out if you know it in three, two, one. It's bread and butter. I love bread and butter. Especially if the bread is toasted, yummy. What is that? Wow, that's a little too zoomed in. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. Let's give a little bit more zoom out right now. Oh, okay, do you guys know what this game is? All right, shout it out. Three, two, one. It's called foosball. Right, they work together as a team to play table soccer on a foosball table. You know that? All right. Lots of lines in this one. It looks all crazy. Can't put my finger on it. Let's zoom out just a little bit more now. Oh, man. Oh, now the pieces are coming together. <laughs> We're gonna give you the answer in three, two, one. It's a puzzle. You got it. And we can work together to fit the puzzle pieces and build it. I love building puzzles. They're so much fun. Oh, man, I see a sprinkle. I love sprinkles, but I don't know what it's on yet. Let's zoom it out a little bit more now. Is that some powdered sugar too? But what's it on? I know it's round. We're gonna give you the answer of what these items are in three, two, one. Donuts and coffee. Did you get that right? Oh, that's what I want right now. That would be so tasty. <laughs> What is this? This is silly. I see fur, I wonder. Okay, let's zoom it out a little bit more. Oh, I see fur and a paw now. Man, what kind of, a paw to what though? What kind of animal has paws? Bears, lions? Okay, we're gonna give you the answer for what this image is in three, two, one. 
It was a dog, a doggy. High five. The dog knows how to high five. That's so much fun. Did you get that one right? Okay, I see something black colored. Okay, I can see that it's it's some leather and there's some crisscrossy leather thatching. Huh. Okay, we'll zoom it out one more time now. Oh, okay, now I see it. I see a little bit of, of the, the baseball. We'll give you the answer in three, two, one. It's a baseball mitt and a baseball. They go together. And if you can make that go together, then you'd be a good outfielder or infielder or catcher because the ball belongs in the glove, right? Oh, hmm. I wonder what this is. Kind of looks like a snowman. Okay, let's zoom out just a little bit more. All right, what goes together with these items? Okay, we'll zoom out one more time. So shout it out if you know what it is. In three, two, one. It's s'mores. You got the graham cracker, you got the marshmallow, and you got the chocolate. That's right, s'mores go together so good. Huh. Well, I do see something that I recognize. We'll zoom out once. Okay, yes, they were piano keys, but what's that orange color with the piano keys? Hmm, I don't know yet. Let's zoom out one more time. Oh, what instrument has the body with those shapes, huh? Do you know? We know it's a piano, but what's the other thing? All right, we'll give you the answer in three, two, one. It's the violin. Have you ever heard a pi piano player and a violinist play at the same time? Wow. Hmm. Li white lines. You think that's milk? Oh, I, I, I can see that being milk. Okay, let's zoom out one more time. Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorite things. Okay, do you know what it is? What goes together with milk? Carrots? <laughs> no, we're going to give you the answer in three, two, one. Milk and cookies! Raise your hand if you like milk and cookies. I do, my hand is raised. Well, thanks for playing our game today called Zoom It Out. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, I'm Jackie, and today we're gonna be unboxing the Bible. Now, if you're not sure what unboxing means, it's like when you get a new package or a toy and you open it up to see everything that's inside. But this is even better because we're opening up God's Word. Let's find out what our word for today is. D E L I V E R. Deliver. Our word for today comes from our memory verse, which is Psalms 34 verse four. And it says, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Ooh, that's a really good verse to remember. Will you guys repeat it with me? Psalm 34 verse four, and it says, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Good job, you guys. Well, it's time to get into our Bible lesson today to learn more about how God delivered the Israelites using King Saul. So let's find out what happened now. Hey there, boys and girls. Welcome to our Bible lesson today. It's about 1 Samuel chapter 11, and that's where Saul becomes king. Saul unites the Israelites from different cities and he helps conquer enemies and people want to raise him up as king. You know how we've been talking about how the Israelites wanted for themselves a human king and God knew that it was always better to have a heavenly king himself, right? But the people of Israel, they wanted a human king so they got one and his name in right here was Saul. Today we're going to talk about unity. We're going to talk about the people coming together and uniting. And at the end of this chapter, they return to the place that they entered in the promised land. We're going to get there. And so I wanted to show you a picture that I returned to recently. And it's a forest where I grew up in a city called Lake Forest. And here's the picture. As you can see, there's lots of trees everywhere. These are eucalyptus trees. And there's a certain smell that I can smell in eucalyptus trees that I just remember my childhood. I remember running through this forest. I remember riding my bike, making all kinds of trails and throwing rocks in the little stream there. And I just had a great memory of my childhood. And in this chapter, that's what the people do. They go back to the place that the Lord delivered them. But uh, they celebrated all that God had done and lifted up King Saul. Here we are in chapter 11, and there is the people of Ammon, and there was a King Nahash. And King Nahash wanted to conquer the city called Gilead. And Gilead was a bunch of Israelites. And so the Israelites called up Saul. Well, um, they called up Saul and his people. They didn't have phones back then. And when Saul heard this, he was angry, and he said, oh, I better go and rescue these people in Gilead. Well, there are two names, Jabesh Gilead. 
That's the name of the city. So King Saul sent them a message and said, don't worry, I'm coming for you. And so we're gonna come and save you. King Saul and his men, he caught King Nahash, the bad guy, by surprise and they wiped them out and they conquered him. And so all the people of Israel were united and they appointed Saul as king. Now, what can we learn from this about having unity and putting appointing leaders like a king? As Christians, when Jesus is in our hearts, it's important that we have unity with one another. Sometimes we, we know people that come against different enemies and maybe not enemies like in the Bible times, but maybe they're having a hard time in life or coming against adversity and they need help. Well, it's important as Christians that we are united, most importantly, under Jesus. Because we know that we're saved and he loves us and that he is king of our hearts and king of our lives, we have a lot in common with other Christians. And when we work together, we can defeat enemies. And so that's what we can learn together, that we should be united and that our king is the king of heaven, the king Jesus. I wanna leave you with one verse. It's in Ephesians chapter one. It talks about how Jesus is sitting on the throne of God. And it says, that power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms. Wow, Ephesians says this. It says that when Jesus died, God rose him from the dead and seated him at his right hand on the throne. So Jesus is king. Can you say that with me? Jesus is king. He is the king above all kings. You know, in this world, we hear about like maybe there is a king of England or king, other kings on this world or presidents in important positions, but they are all seated under Jesus, the king of kings. And so that's who we serve. That's what unites us. And that's how we should live as Christians. So let's pray and thank you the Lord for being the king of our lives and that we can be united under him. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for making Jesus the king above all kings, Lord. And we thank you for this story. And it shows a little picture of how the people in Israel were united. And of course, they came together under King Saul. But we know, Lord, that we need to come uh, together under King Jesus. So thank you for your word to us today. And it's in Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me in our lesson today. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. I'm Jackie, and welcome to snacky time all right well we were talking about teamwork and it made me think of like a lemonade stand where you work together to make some money to fundraise for things or you know it's just fun to make a lemonade stand so i'm gonna put two awesome things that go together lemonade and strawberries and we're gonna make a very refreshing delicious strawberry lemonade don't go away lemon okay so let me show you what we need we need a blender the sieve it's gonna help us strain out the strawberry seeds because i don't like those a big bowl a cutting board, a knife, and this super cool juicer. So to get started, I have in my blender some water. I put three cups of water in, and to that, I'm going to add the juice of at least two lemons. So I cut it open like that. This is where you wanna get some teamwork help from your parents. If you don't have one of these, you can just squeeze the lemon, because we're gonna strain it anyway, so it's okay if a few seeds get in. I'm going to squish this. Look how cool this is. Tip it on its side. All right, I'm gonna do this with a few other lemon halves. All right, so, so far I did two lemons and I think that's gonna be perfect for my three cups of water. And now I'm going to cut the tops off my strawberries and put a few of those in. These are beautiful strawberries, so red and ripe. All right. So I'm gonna chop these up, add them to my blender, and I'm gonna do quite a few. So I want a good strawberry flavor and a really pretty color of lemonade. If you don't like strawberries, you can also do a raspberry lemonade or even a blueberry lemonade. Or you could even be really crazy and do a watermelon lemonade. What? I wonder how that would taste. Okay, now I'm going to blend. We're gonna put the lid on nice and tight and we're gonna blend this up. Ready, set. Perfect, look at that color. 
weird. This is gonna be like a pink lemonade. But now you see all the floaty things? We're gonna get rid of those. So I have my bowls with a little sieve and I'm gonna put that right on top like that. And then I'm gonna pour this right over the sieve. Ooh, it's catching all of that sort of solid stuff, the pulp and what's left of the strawberries. This takes a few seconds, so this is a good time to exercise patience. Okay, so now that that is all strained, let's give a quick little test to see if it's lemony enough. Now it's not gonna be sweet yet, so we haven't added the sweetener. But I just wanna make sure I've got enough lemon. So here's a little trick. You stick a straw in, put your finger on the top, and then, I think it needs more lemon. I'm gonna add a third lemon. All right, just a half will do. Now I'm gonna put this all back into my blender very carefully. Phew, really thought I was gonna spill that. And now I'm going to put honey in because lemon on its own, it makes you like, like that. So we need the honey to balance it out. And honey is good for us. So I'm going to do this with the honey. Ooh, I'm putting about a quarter cup in there. I'm eyeballing it. You can measure it out if you want. And the best thing is, is to put some in, blend it, taste it, and see if it needs a little more sugar. All right, so we're gonna put this back on the blender. That way we can get the honey all blended in. <sighs> This smells so good, you guys. Okay, we're gonna do one more taste test. Mmm, maybe a little bit more sugar. Okay, that's good enough. Now I'm going to clear my table here so that we can plate a beautiful cup of lemonade. But to be ready for that, I'm gonna take two little strawberries and cut a little line right down the middle like that so it looks like it has a mouth. And then I'm gonna take my lemon and cut a nice round circle of the lemon too. Actually, I'm gonna cut the half. Perfect. All right, now let me clean up. One, two, three. All right, I love that. Let's get some ice in our glasses. I don't know about you, but I love my lemonade icy, icy cold. Now I'm gonna pour my pink strawberry lemonade over the ice. You guys, does that look refreshing? It smells so good. So now I'm gonna take a little lemon, put it on the edge just like that. And then I'm gonna take the strawberry and also put that on the edge. And voila. Well, I know that August and Mr. Mike were working hard. So hey guys, why don't you come have a lemonade? Hey guys, here's some lemonade. Wow. Teamwork. Teamwork. Well guys, that was so much fun. I had so much fun making this delicious snack with you guys. I hope you make it at home. Hey, you know what? If you make your own lemonade creations, take a picture, post it on Instagram, and tag us at Harvest Kids Live. I wanna see the fun stuff that you guys make at home. Well, it's a nice warm day, and this is very refreshing, so I'm gonna go enjoy this outside. I'll see you guys later. Bye! Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We had so much fun learning this Bible story with mm -hmm. you. Yeah, what we learned was the people were united. The Israelites were united under King Saul. And he was a man, right? But we, as Christians, are united under Jesus. And we can accomplish a lot. We can conquer our enemies, whatever those are, in each of our lives together with the Lord's strength. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we want to encourage you guys to work together as a team for God's glory. Unite together to share the gospel and to use your gifts all for the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for joining us today. You can find us on YouTube and Instagram at Harvest Kids Live to check out more of our videos and content. And we'll see you next week. That's all for now. But Jackie, yeah, I got a really good idea. What? Do you want to start flying again? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Okay, ready? One, One two, two, three. We're flying, we're flying, woo!